An incoming weak transient might affect space weather now. July 24th. Here's the ISWA model. Earth in yellow. And there is that shockwave banging us. Boom. Right on the 24th. Sunspot 26 or 2767. Alpha HSX. Cycle 25 spot looking, looking gorgeous. But take a look at the shockwave event. Happened about 12 hours ago. Well, began, but the major effects just four hours ago here. You can see the BZ getting jiggy. But the fire angle shifted clearly. Boom! Earth to sun. And there is some density fluctuations, temperature spike. Speed up to four, three fifty, four hundred. KP's popping to three. And according to Solar Ham, a gentle coronal hole stream coupled with a possible incoming weak, weak transient passage could help boost the KP sometime during the next 48 hours. Hours of powers happening now. As we keep a close eye on Solar Cycle 25, Sunspot 2767, AR 12767, Alpha HSX, C flare probability 5%. There's no magnetic mixing here. It's just positive and negative. Small negative, large positive. We have Umbra and Penumbra, full sunspot. Full solar cycle 25 activity happening now. The latest HMI continuum shows that spot very obviously, like a black dot. We don't want that. Just go big. Yes. So here we're looking at the first major sunspot of cycle 25, no magnetic mixing, perfect umbra, penumbra, turning the limb and heading towards center disk over the coming days. Will it disappear? Will it grow larger? Those are the questions. Currently, you can see positives trying to sneak around the back of it here. But we'll keep a close eye on this baby. As we watch telemetry. Hope you got something out of the video. Sharing knowledge. We are in cycle 25. And we're waiting for the grid to go down. And that's a boom. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Be safe. We love you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks to our one-time donors, our Patreons.